Greetings and salutations, dear viewers. Get ready for some fantastic content. It's a pleasure to have you join us as we uncover the secrets of Laura Malin. Laura Malin, born April 27, 1974, is a Brazilian-American writer and entertainment consultant. She has written novels, biographies, television and film scripts. Since 1997, when she founded her consulting company Malin Entertainment, Laura has also been working as a development executive, script doctor and creative mentor. Get ready for an exciting part as we dive into early life and career. Laura Malin was born in Rio de Janeiro in 1974, the only child of Anna Maria B. Malin and Moro Malin. When she was one year old, they moved to Santa Barbara, California, and then to Paris. They returned to Brazil in 1979. Laura wrote her first still unpublished book in 1985, The Case of the Punjabi List, to give as a Christmas present to her family. Aged 15, she spent the summer in a kibbutz, in Israel, and the following year she returned to France to pursue her studies in French literature. Once there, she developed an interest in cinema while attending the Cannes Film Festival. In 1997, she graduated in journalism from the Catholic University of Rio de Janeiro. During the early years, Laura worked as a translator and journalist. Laura's first job as a reporter was at Journal du Brasil while still at university, in 1993. She remained away from the field for some 20 years, until she briefly worked at Globo Network's journalism department in 2012. In 1998 she moved back to California to study writing and screenwriting at UC Berkeley. After completing her courses she moved to Los Angeles for two years, and then back to Brazil in 2000. As we progress through this video, let's now turn our gaze towards TV. As a showrunner, screenwriter, creative producer and script doctor, Laura has a broad experience acquired over more than 25 years since her beginnings. Laura's first big hit happened when she created an Shoramid Termadu Guto Reed record. The TV drama series, a revolutionary project about the street favelas, was an instant hit in 2005. Laura collaborated in the creation that lasted for six seasons and was aired on cable channel Multishow and later as part of Globo Network primetime magazine Fantastico. Over the years, Miss Malin wrote and collaborated in dozens of TV series, miniseries, soap operas, doxeries and television shows. Laura Malin is a jury member for the Emmy International Awards, Sir Peter Usinov Television Scriptwriting Award, International Emmy Awards. As we progress through this video, let's shift our attention towards film and uncover its hidden depths. Over the years, Miss Malin script doctored, collaborated, wrote, executive produced, distributed, and co-wrote more than 50 produced films. In the US, the writer had the pleasure to work with director Stephen Hopkins, director Eric Eason, producer Richie Salvatore, director Fruit Chan, and screenwriter Steve Anderson. Laura also works with film financing and distribution. Her latest highlights include domestic distribution of 1982 by Aulid Mawanis and funds for Monica by Andrea Pallaro. As we move forward, let's uncover the untold stories and fascinating intricacies of book author. Aged 30, Laura published her first novel, Julio and Giuliano, a thriller drama set up in Rio de Janeiro. Her second book, a biography about Brazilian actress Debara Duarte, came eight years later. In 2011, she released Livro de Joaquim, the first book of the epic saga Tempo Perdido. In 2013, the second volume came out, Livro de Lia. The same year, Laura also released a biography about the top model loser Brunette. Her first children's book, Nod a D, written with singer Gabriel Lopensida, was released in 2020. Laura is writing a book about the Jay sisters. Without wasting any more time, Let's jump into the fascinating world of Malin Entertainment. Founded by Laura in 1997, Malin Entertainment is an experienced consulting company dedicated to creative development, sales, co-production and market positioning of films, TV series and literature, mentoring and coaching. 
always striving for female leadership, equality and diversity, the company have sought teams composed primarily by women. In this cooperative environment, Laura manages multiple projects per year through a dynamic and detail-oriented process while also coaching and mentoring clients and exceeding in the entertainment industry. In 25 years working with the entertainment industry, Mailin Entertainment has created lasting professional relationships with Brazilian and international clients based in the US, Latin America, Angola, France and Portugal. Initially incorporated in 1997 in Sao Paulo as Trilogy of Films, the company later on expanded to Rio de Janeiro in 2009 and had its name changed to Tapas Communications. Finally, in 2014, it set foot in Los Angeles and gained the current title of Malin Entertainment site where the titulous Brazilian screenwriter Laura Malin on setting up a female, Latino production company. Let's zoom in on personal life and understand its implications. Laura Malin has two daughters, Luisa 2001 and Alice 2003, from her relationship with Brazilian actor Danton Mello. Your feedback helps me improve, so please take a moment to leave a comment or review.